rooms or anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh... Come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Someone named Mr. Smith. <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. You never know what might be significant. Well, I guess. Sorry. Jesus Christ, you're gonna get me fired. I need this job. Sorry about that.
207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- uh, Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! Just stop! Is this? Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage or... Uh... Got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with a built-in cassette player? I think so, yes.
What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. We shouldn't even be in here. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What is it? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role-playing as a person who really exists, who we know, that's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no, I take that back. God. like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Hmm. What? What are you thinking? It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been... Anyone? How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She must have been so scared. How 
how can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in the Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. of stalking it doesn't just stop by itself trust me i know about this firsthand he'll keep trying to get closer and closer his stand-in for snow is gone now so the next step closer what is it it's <gasps> crane Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? 